What is going on, everybody? Um, that's what you call salty fresh right there. You wake up in the morning, go get you some flounder. Afternoon, head to the lake, get you some crappie. Don't get any better than that. Had a lot of requests on some fish tacos that I posted on Facebook, and a lot of people just want to know how I made them. So I want to show you how I take this flounder, turn it into these fish tacos right here. Um, real simple. Uh, you got these few ingredients here one fresh cut pineapple, one cucumber, one purple onion, and one lime. Um, it's like I said, nothing more to it than that. There's your ingredients right there. Really, really basic, really, really simple, but tastes delicious. First, you want to take your pineapple and you're going to chop it up. Um, nothing more to it than that right there. You just get it to the consistency you like. I hand chop everything because I don't want it to be really small pieces I like to be a little chunky uh, just think of like a good chunky salsa but, um, but yeah that's all you do you're gonna take all four of your ingredients and dice it up and uh, put it in the mixing bowl and, and mix it with a fork uh, so that's what I'm doing here with the pineapple is chopping it up next uh, grab the cucumber same thing I usually only use about half a cucumber uh, you can use more if you like um, I'm just making it for a few people here, so I use half and dice it up about the same same thickness, same as the pineapple, and uh, just put it in the bowl. And next is the red or purple onion, whatever you want to call it. But uh, now the onions are kind of a real strong flavor, um, so I don't use quite as much of the onion as I do the pineapple and the cucumber. Um, if you like it more, you can use more if you want. I just, uh, like I said, I just use a little bit less. Uh, but that's it. Dice it up. Put it in the mix. And last but not least is the lime. Uh, squeeze with your hands or squeeze or whatever you got. Anyways, just squeeze the lime, one full lime into it. And, uh, and that's it as far as the, making the, the pineapple salsa. That is it. Done. Uh, nothing more to it than that. Now you just mix it up and you're good to go. we are on to what we call the special sauce um, half a cup of tartar sauce one large avocado a tablespoon of chopped cilantro and a lime uh, basically this is the sauce that you'll spread onto the tortilla um, before you put the, the fish and everything on it's, it's delicious um, it's, it's tartar sauce based um, and all you do is you take your chopped cilantro here uh, you're going to put it, your tartar sauce, the avocado, peeled avocado, and squeeze a full lime all into the processor and blend it up and just get it to a good uh, consistency of just like, like a normal uh, sauce or any type of thing that you would spread and, and you're good to go. As you can see right here, I'm just kind of pulsing it, um, just trying to 
keep it all towards the bottom so it doesn't sling up on the sides. It makes it easier to scoop out uh, whenever you're trying to get into the bowl. I use a spoon. Most people will probably use like a little cake spreader or something to get it all out. Probably be a lot easier. But teach his own. And there we have it. The secret sauce is really delicious. Um, nothing next, all you're gonna do is get your skillet out. Uh, put you some olive oil on the bottom, turn the heat up to about a medium. Uh, just enough olive oil to coat the bottom, get it nice and lubricated. Uh, don't wanna burn the fish. And next you prep the fish. I prefer a good white flaky meat, such as flounder, crappie, stuff like that, but you can really use anything you want. What you'll see here, first of all, I'll take the, the garlic powder and, and sprinkle some on. And then up next, I'm going to be using the lemon pepper. And then sprinkle some of that on. And then, last but not least, the most important one uh, is the blackened seasoning. There's a lot of seasonings that you could use, but this is the three I prefer and I've had this a hundred times and man does it come out good. So go ahead and coat it real nice like that. On the blackened season if you put too much it can get a little uh, spicy so it's up to you and how much you want. But um, after that I take the seasoned side and I lay it down into the oil. Uh, so right away it starts to cook the seasoning onto the meat. Um, and you'll see here as I put them in that after I lay them all in, then I will do the exact same seasonings on the other side while it's in the skillet. So I'll come along again here and I'll put some garlic powder on the side. And then up next, the same procedure. Up next, then I put the lemon pepper on. And then after I sprinkle the lemon pepper on all of them, then it's the blackening and it's the same thing. Now, when you're cooking the fish, it doesn't take long. It depends on the thickness. Um, I usually total, in total is probably 10 minutes for me. And once you see the edges of the fish kind of start turning white, that's when I flip it. Um, and so you flip it once, cook on the other side for the same amount of time, and they'll be done. And you can always, if you want, take a fork and kind of see if it's white and flaky in the middle. But that's usually a good 10 to 12 minutes is usually a good... Uh, a good timer but as you see I'm, I'm, I'm scooping the fillets out putting it on a paper towel to, to soak up any of the grease that might be on them but look at that you can see that white flakiness right there it mm, doesn't get much better than that now up next here I'm just heating up the corn tortillas uh, I prefer corn on these. You can use whatever, corn, flour. I just prefer corn. You just take them, put them in the skillet, nice and warm. You start seeing them bubble up, you know they're ready to flip. Um, and that's pretty much it. Up next, there's nothing to it but make them up.
As you can see right here, we decided to go ahead and do some, some shrimp in the skillet, the same exact recipe, just garlic powder, lemon pepper, and the blackened seasoning. Uh, tastes delicious, gives you a little extra something something, so you got a couple fish tacos, maybe a shrimp taco. This, this meal has turned out to be one of our favorite. We try to have it at least two or three times a month. Uh, but please try it out, see for yourself. It's one of our favorites. And now, the final product and the taste test. Mm -mm. That's what I'm talking about. Thanks for watching, and if you like the video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. And uh, if you have any comments, leave them below. Maybe you got some fish taco recipes you want to share. Again, thanks for watching.